It's the first of bad news for Airbus as Airbus has announced delays of the Airbus A321XLR, delaying the delivery of its first jet to 2024. The reason? Ongoing safety discussions with the EASA saying the A321XLR certification was still ongoing. More specifically though, the EASA was concerned about rules regarding the new rear structural tank of the aircraft. EASA was concerned that the A321XLR's rear center tanks would, quote, inherently provide less redundancy than structurally separate fuel tanks. Given how Airbus swapped out the three ACTs in the rear for a large structural fuel tank built into the structure of the aircraft, the FAA has also weighed in on the safety issues. Stating the A321XLR's current design is insufficient to protect passengers in the case of an external fire or give them enough time to evacuate if a crash occurs. So what can Airbus do? Well, delaying the entrance to service from late 2023 to 2024 by 12 months is the first thing Airbus has done to give themselves more time to sort out a reasonable solution with the regulators. Airbus has warned customers that this additional installation to the fuel tanks could add weight, reportedly around 700 kilograms. Kilos. This would mean the aircraft take on less passenger and cargo payloads, or that it flies less range. Given range is one of the key selling points of the A321XLR, this would be damaging to the aircraft's future sales. Another possible outcome is to further raise the max takeoff weight from 101 to 101.7 tons, though it's not sure whether this would require modifications to the landing gear or more thrust. All in all, this is certainly saddening news for Airbus, and not a great way to welcome the A321XLR XLR into the world. Be sure to subscribe and till we meet next time. One team, one aviation, one sky hit.